Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is a continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So, we are already done with the select basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, and advanced select and joins. We are currently working on subqueries, and finally, we will be moving to advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. In this video, we are going to solve this question called employees whose manager left the company and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 37th video of the series called employees whose manager left the company. And if I look at the companies that this question has been asked in, so Adobe, let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called employees with four different columns, employee ID, name, manager ID, and salary. In SQL, employee ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the employees, their salary, and the ID of their manager. Some employees do not have a manager. That is, manager ID is null. Okay. We are asked to find the IDs of the employees whose salary is strictly less than $30,000 and whose manager left the company. So, there are two conditions that we need to check. When a manager leaves the company, their information is deleted from the employees table, but the reports still have a manager ID set to the manager that left or the result by employee ID. Let's look at the example and see what do we need in our output. So here we have several employees, their names, their manager IDs and salary. So we need to check two conditions. Firstly, employees whose salary is less than $30,000. So we only have two employees, employee ID 1 and 11, whose salary is less than $30,000. And secondly, we also need to make sure that those employees whose salary is less than $30,000 have their manager left or not. For Khalil, the manager ID is 11 and 11 is still in the employees table. The question says that if your manager leaves, then that particular manager's information is deleted from the employees table. Since manager ID 11 is already present in the employees table, this person is still working. Now, if we move to Josiah, manager ID 6, you can see that there is no manager ID 6 in the employees table. So that means employee ID of the person whose salary is less than $30,000 and whose manager left is 11. And that is what we have in our output. Now this question is part of subqueries of SQL. So basically what is a subquery? Subquery is a query inside a query. So let's look at how that subquery part will come in picture here. So we need those employees who needs to satisfy two condition. Firstly, from this table called employees, their salary, so where salary is strictly less than $30,000. And secondly, we also need to make sure that those employees manager ID, manager ID should not be present in the employees table. Then only we can say that, okay, that particular manager has left the company. So we can write and manager ID is not in and then we need to find the so this is where we are writing the subquery that okay return the employee id so all the employees that are present in the employees table so from employees this will give you the list of employee ids from the employees table and if your manager id is not in that then what you do is you return the man employee id so return the employee id and since we also need to order this by employee id so we write order by employee id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted uh let me just drag it above so and our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question but what we had to do was we had to satisfy two conditions for first it was very easy because it was just row by row fair clause but for the second to make sure that manager has left the company we need to make sure that it is not actually present in the employee table and for that we use the subquery so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video